Bunch of shoes. Other than that, nothing. Well, is that electric cord? You know what? No, that's coax. And the chemicals are still sitting there. See if there's anything in that box, and no, there ain't, and no, there ain't nothing. Nothing. You know what? My little honey hole here has stopped producing. It's been a while since anybody dumped anything over here worth getting. Of course, I can't complain. I got all them test strips out of here. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's go around this way, see if I see any cans. There's a nice flat one. Nice flat one. How you doing, sir? I'm doing. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah.
and our tape yeah, bit come right on. And uh, well, that must have cost about $25, $30. That, that one's 200 yeah. <laughs> Those things, but the ones above, just above that is up around $400 a piece. 400 bucks. I can't afford that. Well, that, that, that does as good as that 400, don't it? Yeah. Uh, that 400 probably be more clear. You probably do more stuff. Mm -hmm. All I want to do is take pictures. That's all. <laughs> and shut off and on. My voice, voice command is good. Mm -hmm. That voice command is good. Yeah. <clears throat> and you see a situation that you may want to, you know. Yeah. Tell it. Start recording. Pick it up. So much stuff going on tonight. We could have a camera somewhere. Yeah, this day and time, you don't never know if you're gonna be on the camera or something. I know I got a harness that I can wear across here, and it'll mount right down here. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and the way I like that better, but it doesn't actually see what I'm looking at. If I look at that, that's what it's seeing. Yeah. Or I look at you, it's, mm -hmm, it's, it's yeah. seeing you. But with this down here, it's stationary, and it, it um, I, I just don't like it. I like the convenience of it, because I can look down there and see if it's on or not. Mm -hmm. Now, like right now, I know it's on because I just turned it on, but yeah. uh, sometimes I'll forget and I'll miss good shots and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> How long do you stay in the military? Hmm? How long do you stay in? Six years. Hey, good. Just stayed on in there. Six years and... Now that got six years, then I might have wanted to stay on in. Well, I was planning on staying in, but... Uh, I knew if I stayed in, I was going to bust Vietnam wide open. <laughs> and my brother done went over and... Well, now, what was your MOS? Mine? Uh, what was you doing? I was an ammunition specialist on 155 Hearts. You've been all right. You've been seeing no combat, no action. Or nothing. Um, yeah. But... But they like to come in there and knock out them, nah, yeah, them batteries if that they would, can. That would have happened. <clears throat> yeah. But we can be like 12 miles behind the lines. Mm -hmm. But I don't guess you really had a Wasn't no line, on line in, in Vietnam. You can mess around there and be out there in them jungles and don't see nothing. All of a sudden you see it, it pop up from nowhere. You know, that's what you think. That's, it was a jungle warfare type thing. You didn't see nobody until it was too late. Mm -hmm. They see you. Yeah. Yeah. They see you. Never see them until it's too late. Yeah. My brother liked it though. He went over. He did two tours yeah. in Vietnam and and the. And both times he volunteered for it. <laughs> and both times he got, he got, he didn't get shot up, he got shrapnel the first time, and then the second time he fell in one of them holes that had them pointed things yeah, on it. Right, His feet was messed up from that. I bet you he was. They had some booby traps over there. Yeah. They had some booby traps over there. <clears throat> and you had to be careful where you step. Take the pickup. I like to go back over there. Beautiful country, you know. Yeah. I love to go back over there. Did you you think you feel all right doing that? Just going back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean now. Because I'm going in a different. You know, right, how you doing? You're going in a different capacity now. You're going over there to as a tourist. Yeah. And, and people go over there. Yeah, Saigon is nice. I got a chance to go to Saigon when I was over there. I had to go to Saigon to get a passport to go to Taipei. Didn't they change the name of the Saigon to Ho Chi, Ho Chi Minh? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Seems like I heard that somewhere. I don't know. So I 
I know I, I see a lot of stuff that says made in Vietnam now. I, you know, I see a lot of furniture coming out of Vietnam. They made a lot of stuff over there. We didn't have no business over in that. In that. Good morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, that was all right. Nothing came out of it, except I don't know, a lot of lives were lost. Yeah. Yeah. Lost a lot of equipment over there, a lot of money spent. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you get your fight of war that, that Vietnam didn't want to let you win? <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to let me win. Yeah. 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 I'm going to tell you, you fighting Jungle Walk now, that's up. You don't see nobody until it's too late. Wasn't it Kennedy that got us involved in that? I don't think, no, it wasn't Kennedy that was. Or did it start with Eisenhower? I don't know who it started with, but uh, I think it was a Republican president that got us in there. Yeah, and uh, a Democratic president that got us out. Most of the time, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Whoever was president back then, who was president when you was in? I don't know. I know his name, but just on the tip of my tongue. <clears throat> had to been. Had to been Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Johnson. It might have been Lin Johnson. I don't Lyndon know. Baines Johnson. I think that might have been him. I know when Walter Cronkite told him that he might as well get out of there because he's not doing any good. Johnson says, if I've lost Walter, I've lost everybody. Yeah. Who was president in 1966? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. The presidency of Lyndon B. Johnson began on November 22nd, 1963. Who? Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Lyndon Bain Johnson. That's who it was. I served under, when I first went in the military, I served under Eisenhower, then I served under Kennedy, then I served under Johnson. I think Kennedy came in after Johnson, I believe. No, Kennedy, Johnson was the vice president from when Kennedy got killed. Oh, is that right? Yep. Okay. And, uh, okay. But who came after Johnson then? But yeah, he come in there. Matter of fact, I was watching something yesterday about that. I said, I hope it was. I don't know. Well, thank you. I don't know. This is a fact center for us. Who was president after Lyndon Bain Johnson? Here's information from Wikipedia. John F. Kennedy. I'll be there. John F. Kennedy? That can't be right, cause, cause when I went and went in the army, it was Eisenhower, and then in 1961, Kennedy was elected. Cause I remember the day he was elected, I was sitting on top of the motor deck on that 155 Hartzer, and it was snow up to my butt, listening to that on the radio in Germany. Nixon did. And Nixon. I think it was Nixon. He come after Johnson, yeah, didn't he? Nixon. That's what I thought. Yeah, but I, 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 Johnson. I couldn't guarantee. I wouldn't know better on it. <laughs> okay, this was succeeded by Richard Nixon. Okay. I wish I knew how to do all that stuff on my phone. I don't. My this phone's way smarter than I am. I can't. Well, you got you go to uh, go to Google. You got Google, and you tap on Google, and right now he, he won't, I asked him something, whatever I ask him, he's going to tell me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why these kids are so damn dumb. They got, they got this Google, they go to Google. Yeah. My brain doesn't, you know, I'm 78, and my brain work. I like to describe it as pulleys and gears. I know if you turn a pulley here and it mm -hmm. turns something over here, yeah. it makes something happen over here. Yeah. I can't understand this computer, even though I'm on the computer every day and I'm uploading and downloading videos and all that stuff, but I ain't got a clue how none of that works. <laughs> and this phone, 
Oh. Uh, well, you got a phone there. I, I know it. I know some of the stuff it does, but like if somebody texts me a message, mm -hmm. I don't know how to pull it up. I have to call my grandson. I, yeah, I, Don, come in here. Mm -hmm. I got a text. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna tell you, you fold this up, man. I'm gonna tell you, you really know how to deal with, with it. It is something. Yeah. Yes, sir. First cell phone I ever had was in 19, yeah. 1988. And it was in my car. It won't no such thing as carrying one around in your hand. Oh, that right? And uh, and and it was a big phone, like a regular house phone, yep. sitting there under the dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was an antenna on the roof, yep. and then there was a big box in the trunk. Yep. That made all that work. All right, good. But now, the best thing about this thing is it get it. It's got that GPS. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Now. I kind of got an idea how to make that work on here. Well, you just, you just Google, bring up Google, and uh, that's a machine. Then you, you just tell it the address, and it'll lay it out for you, then it'll it, it, it hit start, and it'll yeah. boop, 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 take it right on that. I got down in Tampa one day, I was going to the airport, now, I've been to Tampa Airport many times. <clears throat> but some kind of way, I messed around and took the wrong exit. And when I did that, Lord have mercy. It had to be downtown. I didn't know where the hell it was. So I pulled my phone out, and all I said was Tampa International Airport. Direction. And that thing walked me right out of Tampa, right on to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it would got that out of the riding around the day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you when you <coughs> was in Vietnam, yeah. mm -hmm. it almost is that GPS? Yeah. What GPS? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you was in Vietnam, I'm assuming you got into firefights. Oh yeah. Was there any time during that thing that you just thought I'm not going to make it? You don't think you you don't have time to think about that. Think about it. But what about when somebody around you gets shot or gets killed? Is that 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 that, that some in a way that kind of pisses you off? You know, it kind of it kind of ticks you off a little bit because you didn't lost a comrade, a friend, or something. Yeah. Well, do you do you have any knowledge of any person over there that you shot or you killed or you think you might have killed? Well, I never tell nobody that. I just tell them I did a lot of shooting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just tell them I did a lot I of shooting. I guess you don't have time to really. Because you think about it when you jungle, when jungle wolf there, you, a lot of times you ain't got a cop. You just laying down a basic fire. You know, you're yeah. sending that lid out there. And then you got the, you got the M60 here and and you got the, you got the automatic, and you, you just put that fire down there. Mm -hmm. Anything that walks into it, you cut it down. But most of the time, you ain't got to talk. Most of the time, you ain't going to see them. Then it's too late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got, I won't say respect, but I have more, I guess I have to say respect for somebody like you. You're a black man. And back in the 60s, you know how it was. And it, it wasn't good. And, but yet, you went over there and you did, you did your part, even though you wasn't treated. I don't know how you were treated when you were in Vietnam. Well, over there, you know, you were treated all right. But, you're just another person. Uh, Militarily, you know, you're all brother. <laughs> you got to be. Yeah. Well, be, when I like a fool out there because you know, I, you know, we got to take care of one another. Yeah. yeah. The outfit you that know. I, the outfit that I was in was 28th Field Artillery, yeah, right. and uh, mm. that outfit was an all black uh, outfit mm -hmm. be before everything was integrated. Right. And uh, and when I hit that outfit, it it was probably 60 or 70% black yeah, right. still and rest white. 
And me, I like to say I wasn't a racist, but I think I was, you know. But, uh... I was there too. You were there too? Not Vietnam, I was too old for Vietnam. No, but the same age did. Huh? I was in the Korean one. Oh, well, you come before I did then. I was yeah. there when I started. I didn't go in service till 59. Oh, hell, I was <laughs> thinking about going home then, getting married. <laughs> <laughs> and and you was in Korea? Yeah, I said well, 50. I went in 50. I was in, as soon as I got out of basic training, 30 days, or not 30 days, a week home. California, huh? over to Korea. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and my that, brother was uh, over there for nine years mm, in Korea. My goodness. And uh, well, he's a retired. Yeah. How old are you? Me, gonna be eighty-six. Oh, good gosh, he's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hoping I can make the date. I'm seventy-eight. <laughs> yeah. Eighty-six. I I go out, chop trees down, anything. Well, that's, I got that's a friend good. That's good. He's in the lawn business and stuff, and I go out and work with him. Today I got to go to the doctor, so I ain't with him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we cut four trees yesterday, hauled them back well, from the farm and burnt them. And to be in to be in Korea, you had to be around '86. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because most of the World War II vets is in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got one, and now he's 98. I have coffee yeah. with him in the morning. He comes up here and has coffee. Oh, is that right? Oh, Bob? Yeah, old Bob. Yeah. Yeah, I have coffee with him down in McDonald's. Motorcycle Bob? Yeah. Yeah, that's my buddy, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. You doing all right? Yeah, as far as I know, he's, I haven't been down there to have coffee with the old uh, folks in the after, you know, at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I've had him on video, too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah I've, I've been him. helping out at the... The farm and stuff, and I haven't seen him in a while. He used to come up there. But I'm getting old. I tell us it's my back. Well, we're old. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting Bob, Bob, ninety something. We're still moving. Yeah, yes, I gotta sir. find me a young woman to keep it straight. Got to got to Get something straight. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, sir. <laughs> yeah. I like I like talking to the vets. All right, let me go look, check the little island here. Maybe I'll get a little glimpse of Caroline. I don't know why I dwell on that. She's an old lady. She's 75 years old. But, you know what, I see some trash sitting out down there. I'm going to go take a look at that. Caroline is a 75-year-old hottie. <laughs> yes, she is. I see a nice lady. I shouldn't, oh boy, I hope this ain't going to be something I can't carry. That's going it. Let's see. See what they I don't believe I've ever seen anything set out here before. There is a, uh, well, oh my goodness. What is all this stuff? What is all this stuff? You know what? There ain't nothing wrong with that basket. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Ain't this the devil?
I want this tote in this basket. We'll set it right there. That's a uh, soft but I wonder if that would be something that, um, you know what, that could be for my lady friend's yard sale. I know she wasn't having a yard sale today. Now, yep, yeah, that too. And these are not tore up, so you know what? That's for that's from my lady friend too. Now, how am I going to carry this tank? Huh? Oh, I burped. I want that water gun. That's going to be a cat deterrent for me. Oops. Another water gun. Another water gun.
Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah. Dauber, dauber, dauber. But you know what? This will help out my lady friend. What the heck is that? Oh, I feel some drops of rain on the back of my neck. How am I going to do this? Um, you know what? I'm going to have to set that. I'm going to have to set this. Um... that now I'm gonna have to go <laughs> dauber I swear okay I, I reckon I can see where I'm going you know what maybe I should go around the, I think I will I'm not, I'm going to have to pass on the printer. I've got all I can carry here. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. That is a pretty tree the way they got that done. I don't know. Motorcycle. Look at all the wagon wheels. I don't know why I'm looking. Nothing. About maxed out on how much I can carry. It may gonna rain. Nothing. What is that? No. Oh boy, am I recording? Matter of fact, I'm gonna run by my lady friend's house today. She uh she's not yard selling today, but
GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. My lady friend's not here, but I left that there for. She'll probably know where it come from. Now, on to the house. On to the house. That sewage treatment is smelling today. Smells like, smells like crap. <laughs> I like going there and see how all that works, but I might be getting them to do it, show me through there one day. Yes, I might. Got me a laundry bag. I need a laundry basket. I don't have one. Put my clothes in. And then this big one, I'm gonna clean it out, wash it out good. So I'll have to get the printer another day. Lordy. GoPro start recording. Yeah. I like talking to that. He's 86 yeah, and look at me, 78 and I'm riding around this dang thing. Well, I'll be 75 July 4th. Wow. A week after the next. I'll be 75. Well, I wonder, let's see, this thing's flashing. Why is it doing that? I guess if, it's, if I sit idle a little while, it'll, it'll phase out so it don't run the battery there down. Go, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit out one day and just see how far I... I it's got about a 16-mile range, so that yeah, means I could possibly go out eight miles and get back. I've got a friend of mine, an uh, old guy. He, he still with about, he still with about 200 over there by, by the uh, Skyline factory. He's still over there. And he was ride. He was all the way. Just ride it down to, to public, down to Wayne Dixie on 14th Street. Yeah. Then he closed it up now. But he he, he was walking right. He was all the way down there, and back home. Oh, that Wayne Dixie. They it used to be, and then it went to Harvey's, and then yeah. Harvey's closed mm -hmm. it up. Now he's still with everybody. Over there by the uh, those skies, on those skyline. Yeah. Factory on uh, 200 there. Mm -hmm. And he ride it from over there. 
Did that win Dixie? Did he ride a bagel? Mm -hmm. He got one just like that. Yeah, the VA <clears throat> pops these things out pretty regular. I like it because it's got more stability than that three wheeler. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. That's nice. I've got four wheels. Worry about tilting over or nothing. So, uh, did they give you that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it in January. Wow. I, I don't know what, to tell you the truth, I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for the VA because I have, I got problems. Uh, I have to manage this thing every day. It's, mm -hmm. I've got an open wound back there that's having trouble getting it to heal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they furnish, uh, I don't have to buy no bandit, nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it all comes to the house. Wait now to do something. And I'm yeah. fixing to get all my medicine changed over yeah. to the VA. I get it here, but here I got copays. I think anybody, I also think anybody that was in Vietnam that was in that Agent Orange stuff, it automatically get something. Yeah. There's something wrong with you. Trust me, there's something wrong with you. When they sprayed that stuff, did that? <clears throat> it wasn't. Was it going on you? Well, if you was there, and I, I had it sprayed right down on top of. It. See the plane come down spraying that stuff because he had killed the vegetation. Yeah. That's what it did. And they would spray it. Now most of the time they didn't spray it on you, but that particular day I seen the plane spraying that stuff. Mm -hmm. Agent Orange, that's yeah. what it was called. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, remember that. And it killed the vegetation. Yeah, because you know the jungle was so thick, man. Right. Yeah, the jungle be so thick, man. Sometimes, man, you can hardly move. Yeah. I mean, you you got you got a point, man. He he got a machete. He's chopping and chopping and chopping and mess. I said, Lord, how did I get up in here? Hey, man, how you doing? Hi, what's up? Well, I'm gonna go see if I got fish. <laughs> okay, I'll see you, Sam. Now. Have a good one, buddy. Same to you, huh? Yeah. No. I'm going to give another cup of this coffee. Run around here and see little brother. I got to go see my other brother. There she is. Hello, my man. What's up, buddy? Um. How you doing today? I'm doing. I want some more catfish. Catfish? Three of them. Pull port right below that. Yes, sir. Try it? Yeah, yeah. Give me a piece of that pull port too. Just, just one piece. You was here last week when I was getting it. Yeah, I was here. Yeah. Matter of fact, that video I was making last week, that's going up tonight. Oh, you're going to put it up tonight? Yeah, last week? yeah you'll, 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 so it'll be on YouTube? Yeah, your pretty face will be right <laughs> on there. And your name is Jay? Yes, sir. Is that for Jaden? No, um, that's my initials. So, um, all three of my name, my first, yeah. middle, and last. My, my grandson is, uh, I call him Jay. JJ, his name's Jaden. Okay. And, uh, How old is he? He's 10. 10. Good age. 10 and. How you doing, man? I'm How much support do you need? Hmm? How much support do you want to get? Eh, about a half a pound. You don't have chicken wings, do you? Yeah. 
It should be in the right, right in the bottom. Thank you, Jake. I ended up losing your car. You lost it? I, I lost it. Oh, well, shoot, I can fix that. I can fix that real quick. You want six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I Here, Jay. Thank you, buddy.